All right, so today we're going to go over some ACT practice problems to get you guys uh, ready for the ACT test. Um, now, the important thing to remember is that uh, though the clock is ticking, just take your time and relax on each problem, read it through carefully, and look at all the answer choices. All right, um, so I have three examples here, and we'll see, just go through them real quick. Um, okay, so the first one, when x equals 2 and y equals 4, by how much does the value of 5x squared minus 3y exceed the value of 3x squared minus 2y? Okay, so this one looks pretty simple. We just need to plug x equals 2 and y equals 4 into these two equations and then subtract the second one from the first one. And whatever we get is the difference. That's how much it exceeds. Um, so we'll go 5x squared minus 3y and plug in these two values. 2 here and 4 here. 5 times 2 squared is 20 minus 3 times 4 is 12, so we get 8 and 3x squared minus 2y. Three times two squared, that's three times four, that's 12, minus two times four is eight. So we get four. And eight minus four is four. So the answer is C. All right, for the next question, uh, what is the greatest common factor of 56, 140, and 224? Now, I think the best way to solve this in a hurry is to find the common factors of each number. Um, so 56, I recognize that that is 8 times 7. So we'll start with that. Drawing a little factor tree right here. And 8, of course, is 2 times 2 times 2. We'll just make a note of that. Now 140, that's a much bigger number, so I'll start by dividing that by 2. I can pretty easily do that in my head. That's going to be 70. Now let's divide 70 by 2 again, that's 35. And 35 we recognize is 5 times 7. So here we have... 2, 2, 2, 5, 7. And here, of course, is 7 and 3 twos. Uh, now, 224. Um, it's a pretty big number, but it's even, so let's start by dividing by 2. You just see it's 112, so let's divide by 2 again. Now, I know 110 divided by 2 would be 55, so 112 would be 56. And look, that's the same as that. So this is just going to go down to a 7, and 2, 2, 2. All right, so now we look at um, what is shared between all of these. We have a 7, a 7, a 7, 3 twos, 3 twos. Two twos. So seven times two times two. That's equal to 28. And so the answer is D, 28. Uh, finally, we have a word problem. It's about ratios. It says it costs $44 for 24 feet of fabric. How much would 60 feet of the same fabric cost? Um, so we can set up a ratio to compare these two uh, proportions. Um, let's do cost on top. We'll do cost over length. So we have $44 over 24 feet. And the proportion is going to be the same for 60 feet and our unknown cost on top. So to solve this, we know that cross multiplying will give the same answer. Uh, so 44 times 60 is going to equal 24 times C. So 2,640 is equal to 24C. Now we'll just solve for C. Twenty 
24, 24. Zero. And that's zero. So dividing into that, we get 110. So if we look at these answer choices, that's the answer C. All right, hope this was helpful. Um, be sure to keep doing practice problems by yourself uh, and just make sure you're all um, prepared on test day, get a good night's sleep, eat a good breakfast, all that kind of stuff. So I'll see you later.